Hello. This reading is for Virgos. Virgos, let's see what's in your energy. What message can I share for you today? Keep in mind that this message is for the collective. So take what resonates. And if you'd like a private reading, Virgos, you can reach out to me by my email, Mystic Galaxy Moons. Virgos, let me know if you like this reading. And if you do, give me a thumbs up or a comment. You can also donate five bucks to the cause. Details are also in the description. All these cards want to fall out. Ace of Wands. We'll take it. What else was I going to say? Subscribe, Virgos. If you are interested in seeing, if you like this video and you want to see more, subscribe. Help support the channel. Help us grow. We've been around for six weeks. Six weeks. I'm looking forward to many more weeks. Be awesome to do that with your support. And to those of you who already have subscribed, thank you so much. I do appreciate your time and your energy. Virgo, shall we see what this Ace of Wands is all about? Your message. I'm curious. Ace of Wands for Virgos. Clarified. I have Hierophant. I have Ten of Wands. I have Four of Wands. Someone is putting in the effort to meet you, Virgos. Someone is putting in the maximum effort to meet you. And this energy as well, not only is it a new start, but it's also like rising to meet your expectations. Yeah, this person wants to meet your expectations. And of course, they should meet your expectations if they want to marry you, right, Virgo? Oh, okay. Well, I think I like this Ten of Wands, but let's see. I'm going to start with my Ten of Wands. What is the Ten of Wands for Virgos? Nine of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Six of Wands. Well, I have seen better Ten of Wands. This is the sort of energy, Virgos, that you're working on something and you're not quite sure how it's going, but you're going on faith. And of course, we do have faith here, here with the Hierophant. It tells me not only is it bottom of the deck energy, I just had to mention was Ten of Cups, but this tells me not only are we... Oh, dealing with some very concrete and physical things. This is literally a labor of love, a, a labor of faith, a labor of belief. Even if you're not sure where your effort's going to get you, you're still working through the situations for success. This is hard energy. Hard energy with success, but it still is very hard energy. Hard energy not as in unmoving or unempathetic, just hard energy as in, you know, hard to deal. That is really a big, that is a burdensome energy. Uh, I feel that. And if that was, is you in this energy, then Virgos, I empathize with a little iota smidgen that I am getting from this. But it's heavy energy too. Okay, let's go on to our next energies in a moment. Cleanse. Okay, four of Wands. Four of Wands, four of Virgos. Knight of, of Wands, Temperance, the Moon. We have a lot of emotion here. Is this balance and harmony or is this healing? I want to find out about the moon. How is the moon aspected? Is it a good moon, Virgos? I say it's a good enough moon, Virgos. The moon clarified by nine of wands. 
um, chariot and the magician in this energy Virgos this is like taking matters into your own hands this is like okay I've waited long enough I've seen where it's gotten me or gotten us I do believe I have a love reading on my hands Virgos I'm very like 99.9% .9 sure I have a love reading I will clarify the hierophant but you know this, this is love Yeah, I've waited for this to fall into place, and it's not so I'm taking matters into my own hands. This is the moon that accomplishes what to get. Now I'm curious about the temperance. Temperance for Virgos. Queen of Wands and a Page of Pentacles. So yeah, somebody is going to reach out. Doesn't even feel like to heal the connection. This is balance. Well, there is obviously some, some, something, some labor here. <laughs> this is not all smooth, smooth sailing here, Virgos. But you have dedication here, overall. This dedication. Let's see. Nine. <laughs> I got nine. Um, nine of cups, nine of pentacles, and I have a king of swords. <coughs> Excuse me. King of swords. What is it, my king of swords all about? The sun. Someone wants to marry you, Virgos. That's obvious, right? Yeah, someone wants to marry you. Do they want a new start? Ooh, excuse me. I don't think they want so much a new start, Virgos. I think this person is already very much in your energy. I think as well to the Virgo collectives that this would apply to. Again, this person is very much in your energy. There's no separation. Not to say there isn't tension. I do believe that there is tension, but I believe, Virgos, you are dealing with someone or you... I mean, this could either be you dealing with someone or someone dealing with you. But they believe in the connection very, very strongly. They're putting in the work, even though there's some some friction. Maybe they're worried about actually taking the plunge. I would say as well with this um, Six of Pentacles, it could be as well. And also two Six of Wands. Maybe I should throw a card in that Six of Wands just to see. Let me just pull a card. Ooh. Eight of Cups. I don't like that Eight of Cups. One moment, Virgos. Why do I have an Eight of Cups here? Mm. Eight of Cups. Hangman. This person had indecision, or there was indecision somewhere in your relationship. As I said, Virgos, whether this is you going through the labor or both of you, there is a period of, of indecision. Maybe just things weren't working out as smoothly as you had hoped, or as they had hoped. But, you know, you still kept kept the connection there though I am now seeing a gap you know it could not be an actual physical gap because we do have the ten of wands we have wands here a predominance of wands energy it could not be a, a physical gap more like an emotional detachment anyway somebody definitely was Detach or not giving their all as much as you were, I feel, Virgos, for this energy to be here. You know, am I going in the right direction? What exactly, how is this, how is this coming to fruition? What's the game plan here? Is what I'm doing actually having effort? I can see that it is making a difference in having effort what to do about it and of course collaboration right collaboration is very important as well 
with the wands. You don't really get the full impact of things with the wands when you're just by yourself. Hierophant, Virgos, Hierophant, clarified by a King of Swords with the Sun. He has marriage on his mind. Of course, gender roles can be reversed. You know that. But this person does have marriage on the mind. As I said, it's a marriage read. This is a person who is pushing forward. They do see you very much as the ideal partner to be with in this energy. The final energy here under Ace of Wands is, of course, the Four of Wands. Four of Wands is clarified by Temperance. So I did want to know about that Temperance. Temperance is literally the offer. Someone's going to make an offer to you, Virgos. I'm going to come right out and say it. They, <laughs> Virgo, they're going to come right out and say it because... Uh, the other party is not. That's why. Someone's going to put in a Herculean effort to say, hey, however you propose, right? Will you marry me? Let's, let's go forward on it. Anyway, they're going to say something to that effect. I don't quite know how people propose. I haven't read stories about it, but energetically this is a proposal I'm holding in my hands how exactly they go about it I don't know but they will be quite forward about it they're taking matters into their own hands that's what I have here Virgos and as I said this reading is for the people who I believe in this energy in the ace of wands this person is in your energy somewhat I believe they keep on pushing into your energy with this. This person has been in your energy, I feel, for a while, and that they keep pushing back into your energy. Maybe one, you know, there's some distance in there, or things drop off for a little bit of time. So we had indications of that as well, right? But then this person still comes right back. This person is not letting you get far, too far away, Virgos. And it's because they want to marry you. That is the message I have for you today. Virgos, let me know if you like the reading. And if you do, give me a thumbs up or a comment or, you know, five bucks to the cause. And if you'd like to see more content from me and you are not yet subscribed, Virgos, a big thank you to my subscribers once again. Thank you so much. But if you're not subscribed yet, Virgos, and if you like the reading, subscribe. Also, you can let me know as well if you'd like me to. Like, I pull up general messages of just whatever is in the energy. But I can take some of these daily reads and split them up into specifically about work or specifically about love or specifically about a general reading. I can do that too. All right now I just go on whatever the message is that needs to get out that I can relay. That's what I go on. Until the next videos, Virgos, I'm wishing everybody the most beautiful day. Bye-bye.